we were harmed by the failings of our local government, our local and state government. And so that created a lot of animosity, a lot of mistrust. And so as we move forward together and, and we work towards healing, we have to begin to learn to trust each other, begin to learn from the mistakes that were made in the past, and to put policies in place that protect people. What do we want? Clean water! When do we want it? No! There were, you know, days when you get so angry, you know, because you feel helpless. You know, how could this happen? How could I let my children be poisoned? How could I let this happen to me and my family? You know, so there's times I was angry at myself. I was angry at other people. Um, I had a short temper, you know. Um, then you go through, you know, a point where maybe you get a little depressed and you begin to feel helpless or hopeless that things won't ever change. I think that serving in your community helps lead towards healing because it gets you to step outside of yourself. It helps us to see that we're not alone, that there are other people who are struggling with some of the same issues that we have. But together, we can encourage one another, we can uplift each other. We have this notion that, okay, you need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and you don't need anybody else's help. You should be able to do everything by yourself and you can make it in this world by yourself, but that's a lie. It is now my pleasure to introduce Shiny Moore. Good afternoon. And so when I go out and serve in my community, I go home feeling just renewed and refreshed and strengthened somehow through that service. And I feel more connected to the people around me. We're looking at environmental racism being a, a number one cause as to what happened here. So I think if we begin to um, address some of the systemic issues that persist, in our nation and in our city as well, that would go a long way to healing and rebuilding trust. Flint is resilient. Flint is tough. Those things are the reason why we've been able to endure. <laughs>